This is Ling270, Language, Technology, and Society. We continue now with our examination of writing as language technology, looking at the severe challenges we face when attempting to communicate with the far future. We have established that writing is a language technology and that this language technology is implemented as a system of symbols. Convention is used to assign meaning to those symbols, and in a human language writing system, each symbol in the system represents an element of language. We now examine a special case. Specifically, how can we effectively communicate a message specifically a message of danger to people 10,000 years in the future. When we examine the ways of doing so, we must consider, of course, writing. Writing is a system of symbols. Could we use other systems of symbols without sharing the conventions and without knowing what language those people will speak. This is the challenge that we're going to now examine. That is, can we come up with meaningful symbols to communicate with those in the far future with whom we do not share conventions? The specific use case that we're going to examine is the waste isolation pilot plant in New Mexico. The waste isolation pilot plant is located in remote area in the New Mexico desert. This plant houses significant quantities of radioactive materials materials that will stay extremely dangerous for the next 10,000 years. During that time, civilizations may fall, civilizations may rise, languages will change, and we don't know the level of technology that people at various points in the future will possess. They may be lower than ours, they may be higher than ours, they may or may not speak languages that are known today. They may or may not be able to understand the languages of today. And so the question facing the designers of this facility were, how do you communicate a sense of danger in this place to people from now through the next 10,000 years? One thing that was considered was the use of symbols, such as the radioactive symbol that you see here. The problem was there is difficulty in conveying the message using these symbols when conventions are not shared. Today, there is a convention that this symbol on the right means radioactivity but those in the future may not share that conventional meaning. Linguistic experts were consulted, and those experts were quite pessimistic that a symbol system consisting of symbols not representing language, that such a system could be created that was successfully warned of the danger. Indeed, several of the experts were concerned that symbols may end up conveying the opposite message from that what was intended. Instead, what was recommended was a message in written human language. This is part of the suggested message. These standing stones mark an area used to bury radioactive wastes. This place was chosen to put this dangerous material far away from people. The rock and water in this area may not look, feel, 
or smell unusual, but may be poisoned by radioactive wastes. When radioactive matter decays, it gives off invisible energy that can destroy or damage people, animals, and plants. Do not drill here. Do not dig here. Do not do anything that will change the rocks or water in the area. Do not destroy this marker. This has been designed to last 10,000 years. This message was written in English and a number of other languages with the notation that if the marker is difficult to read, those in the future should add new markers in longer-lasting materials in languages that they speak.